Say good morning. Say good morning. Say hi. Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to a new vlog. It is 9.55, and I think we're about to head into town to do some errands. I don't know, Jared wanted to mow, so I don't know if he's gonna mow first or what, but my sister is sleeping. She's taking a little nap before we leave. It's a very gloomy, gonna be a rainy kind of day, and it's supposed to be like really bad rain and storms all afternoon, so I kinda wanna go and get all our errands run early this morning. But I kinda wanna go, I wanna go to breakfast, but that didn't happen because it's just like too late to go now. Every place is gonna be so packed. Um, so I think we're just gonna go grab a donut. I wanna run to this furniture store that is like going out of business that we've got some furniture from a few times just to see what they have. We always just like to look and stuff and if they have some good deals, you know, we might do something, I don't know. And then I also wanna go to Walmart or Best Buy to look at some vacuums. Last vlog, when I went to Target, I just like showed a clip of the vacuums and didn't even like explain anything, but we're in need of a new vacuum. We're on the search, so. We've been researching a lot and just looking at vacuums and seeing like which ones we might wanna get. We just really need one that works really well for pet hair. So yeah, I used my hawker this morning, got some milk. I need to go put this in my new little pitcher thing that I got from Amazon that I wanna show you and then we can basically head out. This is the picture that I got off of Amazon. It's like a, a nursing picture, so you can like add all your milk in here when you pump it stuff, and you don't have to um, like bag it and stuff right away. Or for me, I just would keep it in bottles in the fridge and it would just take up a lot of space. So this is just way nicer. You just add, to it throughout the day. I usually keep it for like four days because that's how long you can keep breast milk in the fridge before freezing it. So I'll just fill it up and then bag it every four days. And it's been really, really handy. I like it. And it's got this like thing here where you can mix it all up because you know like breast milk kind of separates the fat and stuff. So I really like this. It's been nice. first thing he said he like was like look at that rug that looks I like it and I was like yeah I do too before we walked in there was a sign on the window that said 65% off all area rugs and I'm like oh my god this is gonna be great it's gonna be like a hundred bucks maybe 200 bucks whatever um, so I went to go look at the price of it tell me why $59.99 not $59.99 $5,999 that is ridiculous it was a 8 by 10 by 10. Yeah. It was probably made yesterday by some Persian <laughs> rug maker. I swear, like this furniture store, I 
feel like it's always been on the pricier side and I don't know how we got our bedroom furniture for such a good deal from them. Our bedroom furniture total was like maybe $1,500, like dress, two dressers, an end table, our bed, like all that. Literally, I think they marked up their prices like 300% for their going out of business sale. It was so ridiculous. I've never seen just a regular rug like a rug you can get, you know, at like Walmart or something. It was $6,000. Well. Like all the couches and stuff. Like you would assume they would be like, you know, I think they, like $200 or something like that. No, they were still over, all over $3,000. Right. Like they literally. I think they doubled their price. Yeah. And then put the, they doubled their price and then they put. They put a sticker on there that made it seem like it, you were getting a good deal. Like a yeah. higher price sticker that they marked out. Yeah, like there was, I swear, I'm like not even kidding. Jared and I went in there like a few months ago and everything was way cheaper when we went in there a few months ago versus what it is now, which is ridiculous. They literally just like marked up everything and then said it was on sale. <sighs> My blood is boiling. <laughs> I don't know why it makes or me so it's, mad. Or it's the same price as it was, but they just put that higher price sticker on right. it. Look like like they want to sell it for what they right, but I still think it was even marked up because all the dining room furniture and stuff was well over two thousand dollars, and it's never been like that. So that so. was a fail. So we will not be getting anything from them, and it's no wonder that they're going out of business. But anyway, I think we're going to Best Buy now to look at vacuums. Hopefully, that doesn't raise my blood even higher. I sat back here because I thought I was gonna have to feed B her bottle, but it looks like she's falling asleep. It's not medium. <laughs> you guys, this is a one and done washer and dryer. So it washes it and then it dries it. And the price of it, you see that? Cheaper than the freaking rug at the furniture store we were just at. I'm just comparing the rug to everything in here and it's just making me so upset. So we're home now. It is 4.35. We've been home for like an hour probably. I've pubbed, I fed her. We've just been chilling on the couch for a little bit. We're in like a tornado warning, I think. We are until like 7 p.m., but it's not really doing anything. It rained pretty much like all afternoon, but now it's like, it's still like giving gloomy vibes out, but it's like not doing anything. Jared's in the garage working on my car. He ordered some bug shield or whatever that he's putting on it. And then we are going to be having wings tonight. I got some wings from Sam's a few weeks ago and I just had, Whoa. are you good? And I just made some yesterday for lunch in there. So good. So we're gonna have some tonight. So we stopped in at Walmart and got some, some more like wing seasoning stuff. Jared got some tea, I got new windshield wipers for my car because mine just didn't work very well and so jared put those on real fast but it's just a little lazy afternoon we've watched some golf we've watched some of the nfl draft but now they're reporting a tornado so i want to listen <laughs>
guys, I just freaking spelt precious liquid gold. <laughs> oh man, I had about an ounce in there. What do I have now? Less than an ounce, cool. I was just getting ready to pour it in my little pitcher thing and I set it down and just knocked it over. <sighs> Makes you wanna cry. I'm doing this one-handed, so. <laughs> So we're back home from church and I'm just about to feed her. I changed her into her comfy cozies for the day. And after I feed her, mom's gonna change into her comfy cozies, I think. How would you like to I don't know, I kinda wanna work out. I kinda wanna just do everything today. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I wanna work out. I wanna do like a reset because this house is so cluttery and just, uh, it needs just a full on cleaning. Um, but I just don't have the time. No, I don't, with you. I mean, she's a good baby, but it's just so much harder to do things now, which is understandable. It's just because she takes up so much of my attention. Like I'm starving right now. I want to make my own pancakes, but she hasn't ate yet and that she comes first. Huh, yes, her ducks. Last night we didn't vlog. I didn't vlog too much after I made dinner. I gave her a bath and then Jared spent like all night trying to figure out our air conditioner. Like it won't turn on, which is quite annoying. It's not bad though, because it's not like too hot. It's like literally, I think it's like 50 something right now. It's 60 degrees outside. Um, and yesterday it was like low 70s and today's supposed to be low 70s or mid 70s, I guess. But we had it set at 70 degrees and it was just stuck at 72 and it like won't turn off so we didn't sleep with the ac on last night which we usually sleep at it with it at 70 but it wasn't terrible and we don't feel like it's emergent enough to like call somebody today to have him come out and fix it i don't know he was dealing with that all night and i just didn't even vlog we ate sat on the couch watched some tv scrolled my phone and then we went and laid down i kind of wanted to i almost made the turn to head into town today after church, just because I just felt like getting a pedicure randomly. I was like, you know what? I wanna go get a pedicure. I don't ever get pedicures, but I feel like I want them just because I kind of paint my toes when I do my nails, but I don't ever really do my nails anymore. And whenever I do paint my toes, they like fall off within like a day. So I think I wanna start kind of regularly getting pedicures because that is my biggest pet peeve. Like not really with other people, but with myself is like wearing sandals and stuff and having unpainted toes. Like I just think that is an ick. I don't like it and I really want to get a pedicure, but I'm thinking maybe we'll do it next weekend so that we have something to do because it's just gonna be us next weekend. Jared's at work today, by the way, if I didn't say that. But today just feels like a chill, chill at home Sunday. We might go for a walk later because it's supposed to get pretty sunny and not so cloudy. But yeah, I think after this, I'm gonna try and make some pancakes because I'm starving. We're gonna have a little brunch. Brunch at home. That sounds delicious. And then possibly go through her newborn clothes in her room and like start putting them all away, which is so crazy. You're getting so big. I don't know if I showed her this morning, but she's wearing a outfit that she wore on Valentine's Day. So she wasn't even like a month old on Valentine's Day when she wore it and it was huge on her, but I wanted her to wear it for Valentine's Day because like that's what I ordered it for because it has hearts on it. And then she just wore it for the second time today. And like the difference in her size is just so crazy. But her room desperately needs to get like <laughs> cleaned and decluttered because 
I still haven't even made like her nursery room like transformation real or short like I had planned to do that like right after she was born and it still has not happened so I think I want to try and get that done possibly today but I don't know like I said I have a million things I want to do but we'll just have to see what actually gets done so I'm looking up a banana and oats pancake recipe on Pinterest. Let's see what this one is. Oh, and then Brecklin's in the crown. Whining, so I gotta get this done fast. When you make these, pan these pancakes, you want like bananas that are really, really brown. These I've frozen, so they obviously are brown, but like you want them even more black than this. Like you don't wanna use like fresh bananas. Two large eggs. Half a cup of sweetened almond milk. I don't have almond milk, so I'm just using <laughs> the Fair Life milk. <clears throat> Watch out, honey. Or don't move a muscle. Thank you. Vanilla smells so good. One teaspoon vanilla. Old fashioned rolled oats. Probably just gonna use this whole thing. Maybe. Maybe not. Baking powder. Two teaspoons. Cinnamon, some nutmeg, and some salt. Blender on up. And we'll make some pancakes. When we stopped at Walmart yesterday, I needed to get some more coffee because I already went through that Starbucks bag that I got a few vlogs ago. And I loved that, but I just couldn't bring myself to buy it again because this is the creme brulee coffee, which is pretty good. And it makes 42 cups of coffee. And it was like $4. The Starbucks one, I did not get, I don't know how many cups of coffee I got out of it. Maybe like 10? maybe 15, I don't know, but it was like double the price of this. And I was like, yeah, no, I can't do it. So I switched back to the creme brulee and I'm gonna make myself a coffee cause I didn't get to this morning. This hat is so disgusting. Like, I used to wear this hat to work out in like every single day. So I'm pretty sure these are like sweat marks, but I just really wanna wear this hat. I either need to wash it or I need to get a new black hat, which I don't know if you can wash hats. Maybe I'll try it, I don't know, but I need a new one because I miss wearing this hat. But I wanted to show you guys, I'm also pumping right now. So if you're hearing any noises, that's it. But I'm getting ready to go on a walk. I changed to my hot pink biker shorts from Target. Mom cozy pump. I'm not wearing these on our walk. And then I have my tennis shoes on over here that I'm gonna put on. But anyway, I was gonna show you a picture that my grandma gave me yesterday when we went to visit her of me when I was a baby. And it's so freaking cute. This makes me think that we look very much alike. Look at this picture. That's my mom at 22. And that is me at six months. Why are you blurry? Look at me. Why won't you focus? I think that she does look like me when I see this picture. Because that looks that looks like Brooklyn. I think anyway. I don't know. But yeah. This was me at six months and my mom drew at 22. So I thought that was really special. I love this picture. Yeah. Do you look like your mommy? Do you look like your mommy? I think so. <laughs> I think you do. Yeah. But anyway, this is all we've got done since I last talked to you was her napping and me watching golf. I actually ended up having her do a contact nap because I knew she would nap longer if I did a contact nap versus having her lay here and nap or like putting her down for a nap. I wanted her to get a good nap in because she only slept for like five, 10 minutes before we went to church and then like maybe five minutes on the drive to church and then she was up all church until like the very end. She napped like the last 15 minutes. So she just hadn't got a very good nap in. So I wanted her to get a good solid nap in and she did. She napped um, for over two hours because it's now 
3.19. I think I fed her around 12.30ish or something, 1ish. I'm not sure, I'll have to look in the app. But yeah, I'm going to feed her again because it is past time to feed her. It's almost an hour past time to feed you, I think. But she was napping and I wasn't gonna wake her up. And then we're gonna go on a WALK because it is very, very nice out. The sun has come out and it looks so pretty. We just, I just went out there to let the dogs out and it is gorgeous. So I definitely wanna get a walk in. I wanna get a good walk in. Like I would love to walk for at least like an hour maybe. I don't know if that's gonna happen. I very rarely ever do that, but it's just one of those days where it's too nice to be inside, I feel like. But after we walk, I wanna come back in and get a workout in because I'm getting serious about my working out again and it feels good. Yesterday was kind of a cheat day, you know, with all the meals that I ate. I'm gonna feed you in a second. Let me tie my shoes. But I'm ready to get back to it today. Even though I had the Jared's leftover donut for breakfast this morning. <laughs> Do you wanna have a hot mom for summer or what? But yeah, I'm gonna feed her the rest of her bottle. I was just warming it up in the hot water. Then we gotta go walk and I'm excited. I really kind of want to bring the dogs, but I just know that I'm not going to because my back already hurts and they pull and it's just very annoying. So probably not going to be bringing the dogs, but I will get their energy out later tonight and throw the ball around for them. So they're still going to get their energy out, you know? So we came outside to lay on the ground. I got this blanket off of Amazon. It's like an outdoor blanket. We're having a little picnic, huh? Mom's having a little apple and a protein shake while we lay outside. The doggies are wrestling around and we're just enjoying the outdoors again, huh? We love this. There goes the crazy dogs. <laughs> no. Uh -uh. <laughs> Do you love this? Do you love being outside? Yeah. You like being outside, huh? You're an outside girly? Yeah. You can tell me more? Say it's a perfect day, huh? It's so beautiful out. It's so beautiful out. We're in bed now. Brecklin is watching her little dancing fruits or dancing vegetables, whatever it is, while I eat a little bit of dinner. This is Jared's leftover breakfast burrito from the other day. I figured I don't have enough time to make anything. I was gonna make a yogurt bowl or something like that, but I just, I know she is hungry. I don't have time. She let me shower, so that was good enough. So I just threw this in the microwave and I'm gonna eat this. It's not the healthiest, but you know, I'm getting in food and I'm getting in calories, so that's good. You know, it's delicious. <laughs> I'm also gonna have another protein shake just to add more protein. I don't really remember the last time we vlogged. I think it was when we were outside. But I came in, fed her, she let me shower, and then we literally just went and chilled on the couch for a little bit longer. And then we just went out into the backyard to let the dogs out and run around for a little bit. But yeah, I got literally zero productivity done today, other than a long walk. I don't know if I said, but I walked for 52 minutes. 
almost three miles so that was nice and then I got in a 20 minute workout so that was even better that was the only like productive thing that we did today I didn't get through anything that I really wanted to do like with her room or anything like that or cleaning but it is what it is you know I just had really high expectations for myself I definitely would have got through the newborn putting her newborn stuff away but I also want to make a reel with that so I just I wasn't in the mood to make a reel so I just didn't do it at all but anyway I'm gonna get her changed feed her again and then um she's gonna go down for the night but i'm closing the video out here i hope you guys enjoyed spending the weekend with us thank you so much for watching we will see you in the next video and we love you go out and make the world smile